All right, here we go again. Oh, I think we like uh, a little two, three fish, a little three, one pig, a little re-roll. Oh, um, we do, we do like ants. Put an ant up here, maybe you can buff the pig. There we go, turn them into a five, two. Body, or maybe actually we want to buff the fish into a four, four. Maybe that's better. Oh. It's like, I wish I said glistening instead of glistering. Oh. Lazy arms. Perfect. Glistening arms would have been amazing. Glistening. Alright, let's see what we got here. I like that they changed the stats in the pig. I like 3 1 pig much better than a 2 2 pig, because the 3 1 pig can actually take out a fish. Alright, nice little trade there. Nice little trade there. And buff my fish. And rest in peace. Get that trash duck out of here. Let's go. Victory. Boom. One of many. Alright. Oh, got the ducks. The beaver, I mean, it's a 2-2 for 3 gold is alright. You don't know what else you're going to get. Not my first choice, but I'll take it. A little re-roll, because you never know what you're going to get. Alright, it means it's it's a 2-2. It's a two -two. I mean, I'll take I'll take a 2-2. Two -two. Although, a 1-2 that summons a 1-1 one -one is still 2 damage. And it survives 2 attacks. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe Cricket better than Mosquito. Because also does 2 damage if they don't have garlic armor. Um... Hmm... Or I re-roll. And, uh, yeah. We could actually sell the beaver. Buff some guys. Buy another beaver. And still be able to buy one more, like the otter. Don't buff the beaver. I didn't want you to buff the beaver. I'm gonna sell the beaver. Why'd you buff the beaver? That's the one I'm gonna sell. It's fine. We'll be okay. Maybe it'll come in handy in the short term. In the long term, buffing the beaver is pointless because I'm gonna sell it. Alright, I like the looks we got here. They got a 4-4 beaver in the back I could be worried about. That's gonna get buffed by these ants. Don't buff the beaver. Oh, they buffed the beaver. That's a problem for us. Oh, that's a problem. Actually, that would be fine. We'll have the otter in the back after they trade. Perfect. Peculiar organisms defeated. Two victories. Love to see it. Okay, tier two. Oh, we can try and get the fish up to level two for some group uh, buffage. Dodo's got nerfs. So I don't really want to mess with them. Um, not really going for spider deck. We'll, we'll get the fish there. And I think we re-roll. Um, I guess we could sell a beaver, buy a beaver. Give plus one health to two random friends, maybe? I get a four or five rat. I just hate how the rat summons rats for the opponent, opposing team. It's so annoying. It just annoys me. Um, I mean, the four or five is good. I just hate giving them rats. I've lost so many matches because of them having rats. You know what? I'm gonna do it. There we go. Give some love to our friends. And hire you. And roll again. Um, I don't love any of this. Maybe we just give a meat bone to somebody who's going to survive more than one hit, maybe? There we go. End turn. Perhaps that'll give us the love we're looking for in life. Under rolling pencils, what have you been doing with your life? That's not going to get it done, my friend. That's not going to get it done. Although, that being said, still did more than I thought it would. Three wins in a row. You've come to the right place. Hit the like button. Subscribe. If you like seeing that victory sign. They nerfed the swan hit points down. Feels bad. Still a 3-3, three, three, though. It's not terrible. 3-3. Three, three. I could sell you. Put a 3-3 three, three in your place. I'll take it. Because you also buff my friends while we're at it. Put a 3-3 three, three in your place. Uh, mosquito... I'm not drawing too many pigs lately. Hedgehogs... I don't like that you damage my guys, too. If you damage just their team, fine. Um... I think... Do I want to use an apple on somebody? No, we, we re-roll. Mm, friends sold. Elephants. Honestly, you serve your purpose, Otter. Put that elephant in your place. Copy health from a friend. I could turn it into a 3-6. I could sell the 3-3 three, three and put a 3-6 in this place. With the one downside of I'm not getting that one extra gold per turn, but, I mean, it's still a 3-6, right? A 3-6 there. And we can re-roll and not be able to buy anything, or I can slap a meat bone on you. And voila, now you've got a... Oh, they changed it! Oh, they changed it! Ooh, the crabs been changed. It used to be at, like, at the start of turn, take the health person from it. Now it's buy copy health from the most healthy friend. I'm not sure if that's good or bad, to be honest. I'm not sure the other way is better or not. Um, alright, well. Well, now we know. That's 
some of the some of the, some of their uh, descriptions have changed. Some of their effects have been changed in the recent balance, most recent balance patch that just happened. I didn't play this game for two months. Played it for four hours, and in the middle of a stream, they uh, did a, a change to it. Well, I see you with your four four guy there. All right. I think we have a. Oh, we have a win. That might have been a draw. Four wins in a row. Love to see it. Victory is best. Okay, we got here. Oh, meat bones are actually kind of decent. I could put another 3-6 crab in there. It's better than a 3 Honestly, a 3-6 crab is better than a 3-5 elephant. Or I could put a... I could get a 4-6 elephant. It's better than a 3-6 crab. And just keep it in the back. I mean, that works all right. Giraffe, always a solid choice. I could use a giraffe. Honestly, a 3-2 pig at this point. Do they buff giraffe? I think they buff giraffes. Giraffes are now 2-5. So it used to be like a... Start off with 1-3. Yeah, I think we'll, you're better than a pig regardless. We'll sell the pig. And get extra gold for doing so. I'll buy that giraffe. giraffe. And I think maybe we, uh... I don't... Who do, who do we want to, like, make stronger? I guess the... I guess the fish? Maybe? And... Uh, four, six elephant in the back seems fine. Yeah? A four, six elephant in the back is fine. And, uh... Hmm... Because his power does nothing that doesn't... Causing problems in the back. If they something rat on me, I'll take it out. Uh, although we don't have to, if they something rat for me, it's good. Uh, do you want to? I could combine you with my crab. Make it have a little, little extra hit points on it. Make it a make it a four six instead of a uh or a four. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, I guess we can. I guess we can do that. There we go, four seven. I mean, Sup a little meat bone on. Uh, I guess you, so you have a little more punch to you, and uh, call that a good turn. There we go. I should do a no roll a no roll run. I said that before, but then I forgot. We started another run. All right, got the camel up front. It's gonna buff that uh, peacock. Got the peacock dodo camel strategy going strong over here. A legitimate threat for us, but the meat bone doing a lot of work for us. Meat bone doing good work for us. Meat bone is actually pretty solid. Not gonna lie. Meat bone is kind of underestimated. A nice, a nice, a nice traw. A, a traw. Straw? Traw? What did I say there? Traw? A nice draw, that's what I meant to say. I'll take it. Four wins and a draw. No big deal. Okay. Sal Bull's not bad. Do we want melon armor? No, I don't think so. The problem with melon armor is it overrides other effects on them. Uh, peacock? Bit late for that, right? Turn six. Maybe Sal Bull for a little bit of... A little bit of love there. Make a friendly pet faint. I mean, it's only a two, three... Uh, I think we re-roll. Another meat bone. Um, I think we salad bowl. Then we meat bone the elephant. There we go. All the meat bones. Meat bone actually kind of solid, not gonna lie. Extra five damage? Pretty substantial early on. Can turn even a weak boy into a strong boy. And my, my plus five overrides your minus two from the garlic armor. Handsomely. There we go. Just gonna... Look at that. Look at that bodying... Look at the, look at the power of the meat shield, the meat shield army, the meat bone. Yeah, the power of the meat bone is substantial. There we go, and just like that, just like that, victory. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Obviously, we're gonna use the canned food right away. Plus two, plus one to everybody. And uh, garlic armor. Do we want a garlic armor? You do. We want to, don't replace you. A parrot is an 8-4. Well, I could buff you into a 4-5, um, which is decent. 4-5 uh, versus a 5-2 or 4-3. An 8-4, though. An 8-4. Whose ability would you copy? Not you. Not you. Um, for science, I am going to put the parrot behind the giraffe just to see if, like, it will copy its buffing effect, like, permanently. It says until end of battle, so probably not, but for science, I just want to know. I could have you copy this, but yeah, we're going to sell the ant. This might be a huge mistake, but for science, I want to know, can the parrot copy abilities of uh, these guys? Can they copy the end turn abilities? That's what I want to know. We'll see. And we'll hit you with a... Uh, we'll hit you with a garlic armor, because you got nothing, or do we like... Maybe like... F maybe freeze and wait. Although you have low hit points, garlic armor could be good for you. We re-roll. A pair also be pretty good for you. Uh, a little late on the worm strat. 
One of these days I want to go full in on a worm strategy. We freeze the pair, we re-roll. Mmm, okay, maybe we, uh... Maybe we... Maybe we, maybe we pair you up first, in case we get like a meat bone or something. Alright, if this becomes a 4-7, it's because you buffed him. We'll see. Alright. You do your thing, and you did not buff him, so it doesn't take effect right away. The question is what, like, persists until the next one. Fishy bag pipes. You also have meat bones and honey, all the stuffs. In turn, give plus one, plus one to the guy ahead. Our fish is doing absolute work. Got the kangaroo, though. Kangaroo actually kind of nasty. Alright, we've made it this far, though. And I think... Oh, the badger plus the honeybee! No, we lost because of the badger's power! Badger might actually be kind of solid. Badger plus honeybee might be a decent backline, now that I think about it. That might actually be a pretty decent backline, because it does its damage, and then hits again, and it dies. Yeah, that might be... Instead of elephant in the back, I think I'm going to start doing um, uh, badger, honeybee. That might actually be pretty good. Knockout plus two plus two, whale, hedgehog... Um, meat bone, there we go. A little bit of meat bone for you. Love me some meat bones. Might like them better than garlic. We don't need to have you frozen now. Roll. Mm, snail. I did lose the last battle, but who would I sell and replace is the question. Nobody. I'll just freeze you for now. Until I have something to do the replacing with. Um, I might just put a... You know, I'm just gonna do crazy and give you a bit of this temporary. And then give you... Uh, maybe give you a bit of this. An end turn. Did you do the buff on him? No, I don't think... I wasn't paying very close attention, but it didn't look like the parrot buffed the giraffe. So, it doesn't seem like the parrot does the thing. I'll have to pay closer attention, maybe. Oh, violence. Did that plus three, plus three just come in handy? I'm not sure if it did or not. Mm, maybe it did, I don't know. All right, there we go. There's our win. All right, there we go. There we go. Six wins, one draw, one loss. Okay. Tier five animals unlocked. I don't see you adding effect. I don't think he does. I don't think. I don't think the parrot can copy an end turn ability very effectively. It doesn't work. We won, so no need for the snail. Might as well level up the crab. There we go. No real good level two effect. Faint. Give all friends plus two plus two. You're five eleven. Um. Versus a six eleven. Uh, honestly, sell the sell the six eleven. Put the five eleven in its place. And put him in the front. Sell you, since the crab has no effect other than like the purchase thing. Put you up here. And there we go. And I don't want any of you. Do do do. We re reroll. Uh oh, the scorpion is honestly very good. Hmm. Six is like usually dead and won't hit anyways. Maybe we or five seven actually five maybe like we lose the five seven, and we put a scorpion in front in case they got a big boy up top, up front right. Deer oh it's a bit late for a deer build though but a deer would be nice. Um, I give a plus two. Ooh, if I could get you melon armor that'd be nice. A turtle in front of a scorpion would be great actually. A scorpion can take out two guys. Yeah, I need to get a turtle in front of a scorpion. That'd be amazing. Um, plus two, plus two, on, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe, wait, 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 copy ability from pet ahead, boom, parrot is also scorpion now, so the parrot can also one wreck somebody, and give it a pair, there we go, and uh, I think we enter in there, now it also has the ability to insta-kill, I should put the giraffe maybe behind the parrot or something, because the parrot is now is just like a eight health insta kill, right? All right. Oh, but the dolphin. But I still got the parrot. There we go. I mean that worked. Insta killed him. Yeah, that worked all right. Dolphin's a problem though. Are we gonna survive this? I don't know if we are. Oh no. Oh, luckily we had that meat bone to take him out. But oh, oh, just maybe because the meat bones. The meat bones gets us the tie. Let's go. Let's go. Meat bones. Pretty solid. Another draw. No big deal. And... Alright, um... That's a, we can't use the snail for that. Did I forget to use the snail on the one loss we had? I don't remember. Uh, dodo... Hmm... Do we just, like... 
Salad bowl up, I think. I'm not sure the apple's worth a three gold. No, canned food, obviously. Another snail. Freeze it. Might need it if we lose. Meat bone on the mammoth might be solid. Uh, I could use a... F actually, I could use the fish to level you up. Give everybody else a 1-1 one, one buff. It's kind of huge. It's pretty good. Uh, buy tier 1 pet. I don't do that very often, but it's still a 10-10, but... What I replaced? Not you, not you, not you. Oh, maybe you, but probably not you. No, because you don't have the ability. No, I, I gotta, I gotta go hard. You're not that dragon. Just not that great. And uh, friend faints. No, meat bone. I could probably hang out with meat bone and give it to the mammoth. The end turn. I need to lose a battle so I can get value of these snails. Sell something. Use two snails. Get tons of value. You know. Untouched bananas. I don't think you're going to be able to beat. Although, oh, the turkey, the parrot turkey combo is going to be disgusting. I didn't think about that. Oh, the parrot turkey combo is going to be unbeatable. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's unbeatable. Parrot turkey combo. OP. Unstoppable. It's unstoppable. That's insane. Plus six, plus six. Oh, that's amazing. I need that. That's a hard thing to get going, though. I need to draw a turkey, huh? <laughs> I've got the parrot. A note to self. Turkey, amazing, huh? Uh, before attack, game plus two plus two. I don't think that's it right now. Um, I can give you the meat bone. Wait, 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 wait. We just lost. We just lost. Pay attention, CG. You can use your snails. What do we take out? Um, I like the scorpion. Oh, the mammoth gets plus two plus two. I need. To, you need to be in the front, actually. Um, not back there. What do we take out? I mean, the mammoth, and then plus two, plus one, and all these. Well, you giving the plus two, plus two is pretty nice. Um, the fish? It's 1114 with meat bone, which is nice, but everybody has meat bone, right? Oh, maybe we do it. I don't know. Might be a mistake. I've been putting so much into the draft, buffing it. That might have been a huge mistake. All right, buff the parrot, I guess. Buy this. There we go. And then we sell. Getting rewarded for losing, right? We do that. And then we sell. And we do this. There we go. Do we want the 12-8 that gets plus 2, plus 2? So it's a 14-10. I mean, it's not bad. Maybe freeze it and see what other options are. In case it's something better. Another scorpion is good because it's a guaranteed kill. I mean, it trades too, but it's a guaranteed kill. Unless there's some nasty AoE stuff. Pretty good, actually. Oh, eight damage less enemy. I do like the guaranteed kill thing, you know? You can go here. I said you can go here. And I think we reroll one more time. 50% damage to random enemy. It's, I mean, it's not bad either. 14 6. It's squishy. Maybe freeze you. Nah, I don't think we want to keep either of these. We uh, end turn here. And we really hope our scorpions just do some work. Hopefully they don't have like those... Hopefully don't encounter too many more dolphins. Because dol the dolphins counter the strategy hard. Alright. Oh, the, the deer also are kind of brutal. The, the boss is pretty nasty to the scorpions, not gonna lie. There we go. And a little buff to everybody. And you're dead. Oh, what's that? You're looking pretty tough there. Doesn't matter. Dead. Scorpion. And there we go. And boom. Meat bone value. Ooh, barely. Barely won that one. Barely. But we did. There we go. Beautiful dub. And probably get the meat bone for you now. And a little bit of salad bowl for everybody. There we go. Squirrel. Might be kind of nice, but what do I take in this place? Nothing right. I got, I, I got, effect, I effectively have three scorpions. Why am I buffing something that, I guess, I guess buffing the health of it is good. That way it like survives for that insta kill multiple times, right? Um, well, buffing the health is that would be good. Maybe I should buff the health of that one so it survives possibly multiple hits, right? I don't know. Um, roll. Canned food is always a good choice. Fly, friend faints, summon a 5-5 five, five fly in its place, works three times per turn. Ah, they, so they nerfed it, so we can only do it three times in a row. But another scorpion, though, is also just a fantastic choice that you can't go wrong with. Uh, scorp winning scorpion strategy, maybe? Um, 
I can replace the giraffe with another scorpion. That's a, or I can replace the mammoth. The mammoth does a buff to everybody, which is pretty good. Let's let's be crazy pants and sell the giraffe. I might regret this. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, good. Uh, I was like, take a second, take it, do his thing there. Get that. Put you in the back in case they do attack the back thing. They give me that scorpion there. Oh no, I should have bought the canned food first. Oh, I'm dumb. Rip, 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 rip. We re-roll. We lock this down too. There's no, there's no point in combining them. Um, badger, a bit late for you. I think we're fine there. We end turn. We're gambling hard on the scorpion strategy. We're gambling real hard on the scorpion strategy. I'm not sure if this can pay out for us, but we're gonna see. All right. The gushing legs. I mean, having insta kills is pretty nice. But we definitely have some strong vulnerabilities here. Nice plus two to everybody. Oh, the melon armor counters it hard, though. The melon armor counters it hard, though. Although it just did a lot of work for us right there. And the badger honeybee. We lose to the badger honeybee combo again. Note to self, badger honeybee is just a, like, when it comes down to it, it's just like a game changer in the rear, huh? All right. Note to self, badger honeybee combo in the back is important. Uh, chocolates, I mean, uh, I guess for you might be decent. And canned food for everybody in the future. We're gambling hard on the strategy here. It is a gamble. Oh, extra life comeback is 1-1 after fainting. Absolutely, I want that. Do I want it on the mammoth to give everybody, all you guys, an extra plus two, plus two? Or do I want it on the scorpions to have to do one more extra kill? That's the problem. Do I get a four scorpion? I mean, I've already, I already effectively have four scorpions. I could go five scorpions. I could go five scorpions. Put a mushroom on one of them. Maybe? Because this gives everybody plus two, plus two, which is good, because that means some of the scorpions might get a second attack. The, the, the plus two attack means nothing. The plus two health means, theoretically, they might survive a second hit. Or I could just have another scorpion in the first place. Let's go crazy. Let's just be crazy pants here. Do another scorpion. We will freeze this. Actually, what I should have done is use this mushroom first and the scorpion next turn. But uh, mistakes were made. Melon armor, we're going to want that too. Uh, we don't want any of you. Reroll. And we don't want any of you. All right, end turn. We're going full crazy. Four scorpions with a pair in the back, which s steals their ability, so it also has the scorpion effect. So, attack no longer matters. Everything we attack is instant damage once they have uh, melon armor. That's not great for that's not great for us at all. There we go. Insta kill, and another insta kill. The splash damage was devastating though. No! <laughs> oh, it's all over. Oh, but we tried. Hit that like button if you like this. If Hit that like button if you like Super Auto Pets and you want to see more of this on the channel. And, uh, yeah, that was our attempt at the Scorpion strategy. Didn't work out the way we wanted, but hey, we had fun.